Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. It's your girl Teresa Sino you know, by Mary again. I trust you guys are doing very well. We're almost getting to the end of 2018. Yay! So thank you so much for clicking on the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and most of all subscribe. Don't forget to, to click on the bell button down below to get notified when I have new content up. Okay guys, for the video of today. I weeks back I shared with you guys how I was reevaluating my role here on YouTube and what I wanted my channel to be and I remembered that I wanted to try to help that person that everyday person who was trying to figure things out makeup wise and which is why which was what sort of inspired me to create a series this series is going to be called building up your kit this is where i try and guide you so you build your begin your makeup journey so we're going to be starting with brushes with the right brush you can create a magical look and i'm going to start with the eye initially when i started my journey i was inundated with so much stuff from so from various people on here on youtube i didn't know my left or my right but as i began to discover what i liked what worked for me i've been able to put some things together that i think will help you out there as well now you don't have to break the bank you don't have to go and get a $50 or $80, $150 brush set. You can start from the basics of everything. I have my e.l.f., I've got my Sigma, I've got my Morphe, I've got my MAC. But you, to begin, I would high, I would suggest you start off with simple, basic brushes such as the e.l.f. brushes or the BH Cosmetic brushes or the Morphe brushes or the Sigma. Just start, start off small. So I'm going to be going over how I created this look using some of the brushes that I think you should begin with. For this, I'm going to be using as a point of reference the Maybelline New York Soda Pop Eyeshadow Kit, um, Eyeshadow Palette, and I will be using some of the brushes I have garnered in the meanwhile to help you figure things out so to speak okay so guys like i said to this video i will be using the maybelline soda pop eyeshadow palette i got this from walmart so most important that we are using a combination of my high-end brushes which is my sigma brushes to my elf brushes now the very first thing that you need to begin any eye look is your blending brush this is what a blending brush looks like now this is very you can see it's very fluffy this is the sigma e40 brush and this is the elf blending brush i like to use both of this you actually need two to three blending brushes the first one for the actual application and for the second one is just to blend and make sure that there aren't any harsh lines use this to apply your transition color the transition color we will be using today from the palette is the shade crushing which is this orange shade here taking the blending brush the transition and this your transition color goes in the space a bit or just a bit underneath your eyebrow bone and you want to put it you want to apply them apply the shade in the swiping motion from the left to the right some people like to start from the corners take it from the corners all the way in the second item that you will need is like i said another blending brush this is another elf brush that we'll be using this is a tapered brush as you can see it's like a tulip it's shaped like a tulip this will be using to apply a shade on our crease. The crease is where your eye leads fold right here. That is where your crease is. And I will be using the shade Cola Float. This is the brown one here. That's one. This one. It's always wise to go in with another blending brush to ensure that there aren't any harsh lines as a rule of thumb I always like to go from the light to the dark 
the light is where your transition the lighter eyeshadow shade is where your transition color should be going to the crease going to above your crease which is a shade darker then to deepen the crease which is and the next shade darker all the way to your eyelid create more depth in your look you always want to go in with a crease brush or a pencil brush this is the elf crease brush you can see is a tad bit the fight the hairs are a lot denser than the blending brush or you go in with a pencil brush this is a Sigma pencil brush because this allows you to be more precise when you are applying your eyeshadows to deepen the look so for the sake of this demonstration we'll be going with the shade cherry on top and that is this purple shade here and we'll be using our Sigma pencil brush for that and you just go in from the inner from the outer to the inner you always want to build up apply with little then you continue adding more depending on the look you are going for now the next item that you need in your eyeshadow application an eyeshadow brush this is you can see that this is a lot if this is a lot leaner than the other brushes if you can see this is a lot different from either the pencil brush and the blending brush this just allows you to tap the eyeshadow on your eyelid the general rule of thumb is that the form all, um, all the way down the tra from the transition to the crease to the above the crease you use matte shades for your lids you use shimmer shades it all depends but as a beginner i generally tend to use shimmer shades on my eyelids and for this today's demonstration i will be using i think i will be using um two colors here i will be using the shade grape pop and the shade sugar high taking the grape pop it's a nice gray color that amount and just tapping that on my eyelid so i'm going to finish the rest of my face and come back to you so guys all you need are six brushes six eye eye brushes you need an eyeshadow brush to apply your eyeshadow on your eyelid you need a blending brush to apply a shade to your crease you need a crease brush or a pencil brush to further define your crease then you also need a fluffy blending brush and a taper blending brush this is to ensure you don't have any harsh lines and this is to apply your transition color so these are the brushes that i use every time you see me reach out for these brushes when i'm creating and i'm creating a look on this channel and for my everyday look or my going out look going out date nights parties birthdays these are the items i reach for and you can see the combination of iron if i have my sigma brushes there i also have my morphe brushes and my elf brushes you need to break the bank you start off slow the health brushes cost about three dollars to one dollar they're not very good that good in quality to what you should get when you want to begin your journey and as you're perfecting you, as you're perfecting your skills then you can then go and get either the sigmas or the bro or the morphe's or the or the mats it all depends but you don't need to break the bank you don't need to so i really hope that i've been able to help that anyone right out there who's confused doesn't know where to start i'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have don't forget to reach out to me on face on twitter on twitter on instagram and here on youtube drop them in the comments let me know what you guys My thoughts on the maybelline new york soda pop palettes i like the fact that it has so many matte shades that i can play with i think i'll be reaching out for the reaching for this palette when i'm creating my work looks a good addition to the family 
so all in all this is the look i created with this using my brushes and my new eyeshadow palette let me know what you guys think and kindly share with me your brushes and how you began your journey and what brushes that you think will be perfect for a beginner until then thank you so much for clicking on the video and continue to support the channel look for me on, look for me on instagram share with you your thoughts dm me to look for me on twitter my links are down below and until then thank you guys and i'll catch you guys on the flip side bye